All right, so you're looking to build a real estate team. That's right, you wanna build a real estate team in 2022. These are the things that you gotta consider, guys. What's up, my name's Enrique, PRG Real Estate, brokered by eXp, and I've been leading a real estate team for almost 18 years now, and teams are super popular in today's uh, day and age. Real estate teams all over are popping up, and there's a lot of people who wanna take that leap of faith and build their own team, so I thought, uh, that I would come at you with maybe three things that you got to consider before you go down that path. So let's dive into those. Um, number one, guys, is you got to figure out what the right reason is for wanting to build your team. What's your big why? And some of the things that uh, I considered when I first took on, you know, the challenge of building a team was number one is is I'm basically trying to get some time back. I'm trying to create leverage within my business because my business was super maxed out. Um, and I wanted to uh, have more of an impact also, right? Like dealing with clients every single day, that's great and that's satisfying and you know, helping someone buy their first home or helping someone sell their first home is awesome, but I wanted something more, something bigger. I wanted to build a legacy uh, for myself that goes beyond me, that's greater than me. So I think you really need to get super clear with your reasoning of wanting to build a team. If it's just going after money, it's not the path for you to go because there's, there's ways to make more money uh, and things of that sort. So you got to figure out your reasons why and really dive into that. Number two, guys, is when is the best time to start building a team? This is something you really got to take a look at. Um, for me, um, I started building a team and really trying to you know build this thing out when I was maxed out on my own personal production. Like I was working crazy. I was closing a lot of deals. I was super maxed out and I couldn't keep up with the business that was coming in because I had a lot of opportunities, a lot of referrals coming in, a lot of leads from different lead sources, and I had an abundance of opportunity where I needed to start filling the gaps in and you know, bring on agents onto the team to handle those opportunities. Um, the other thing also that I wanna mention is, is your business should be thriving and it should be predictable because if you're gonna go out and build a team and you don't know where your business is coming from or you don't have like a solid foundation, how are you now gonna lead other people and train them the right way uh, or give them the best advice if you're not even doing it yourself? So you need to make sure your business is thriving, you need to make sure it's predictable, you need to know where all your business is coming from and have a solid game plan before you start adding other people into the mix. Uh, another thing to consider with timing, guys, is making sure that you have a good amount of savings in the bank because when you start to build a team, you're gonna to have to invest in a lot of things. You're gonna to have to invest in admin support. You may have to invest in marketing. You may have to invest in online lead generation, uh, coaching, different things. So if you don't have a good chunk of money saved up, um, how are you gonna be able to weather the storm going forward? Because building a team is tough. You're gonna to probably take a few steps back so that you can take a few steps forward in the long run. So timing definitely plays a role when you wanna build a team. And the last point I'm gonna leave you with um, on these three things that to consider when building a team is there needs to be a mindset shift. And what do I mean by that? Well, when you're now embarking on this journey of leading other people and coaching them and all that stuff, it's no longer about just you, right? If you're a solo producer, you get to come in whenever you want, you get to create your own hours, you get to pretty much operate your business the way you want to, but now you have other people that you are trying to lead and they're looking at you for direction, they're looking at you for inspiration, they're looking at you for opportunities. You really have to have a mindset shift of going from producer to more of a coach, more of a mentor, more of a business owner, um, because it's not about you anymore, right? And the whole point of you building a team is because you're, you're hoping that you can do more together, you know, with, with, with more people in this group than you are gonna do on your own. Another big mindset shift for me also was, you know, more focusing on, on being a CEO and building the business, which means I had to take more time out of producing and helping clients and focus more time on actually building the systems out and you know, my buyer presentations, my listing presentations, getting the website right, getting all these systems down so that I can now you know, uh, deploy you know, all of these things into the team and my team can run with it. Um, you're gonna have to spend more time focusing on your team members, right? You're gonna be getting more calls from people uh, who need help. Um, it's not just about you. You're not just answering to yourself anymore. 
And the last thing, guys, as part of this whole mindset shift is you just need to understand that if you're going to build a team, you are essentially trading dollars for more time. Um, a lot of people think, you know, I'm going to build a team and I'm going to make more money, but it's not always the case because you're having to now split transactions with other people. You're having to invest in additional resources. You're having to spend money on marketing. So until you can get to a certain level of production, a lot of times your income is going to drop. But you have to understand that the bigger picture is maybe that now you're not doing everything on your own. Now you're getting maybe your weekends back. Maybe you're no longer working with buyers and you're only focusing on listings. So you're really getting some time back because you have all this leverage of the people on your team and your admins and all that stuff. So guys, there's a ton of things that I can share with you guys that I've learned in my 18 years of experience of running a team at, at a high level. But I would say these are three fundamentals that you want to start off with. You want to understand your reasoning for building a team. You want to really be strategic about when the best time is in your career to start building a team. And you ultimately want to make sure you have that mindset shift and you understand what you're getting yourself into. If you guys need any help with building your team or laying out a foundation or just want some advice because maybe that's a path you're choosing, um, feel free to reach out to me guys and I'd love to point you in the right direction. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.